The pandemic turned family life upside down, but for some, lockdown gave new meaning to the word family. If you thought your shelter in place situation was crazy, well, check out this next family and how they decided to deal with the global crisis. Meet Denise Albert, her ex-husband, Jordan Fish, and their two teens, Jaren, 15, and Jalen, 12. Now meet Jordan's current wife of five years, Laura Goldstein. Laura's ex-husband is Dan Basikis. They have two kids together, Abby, 15, and Caroline, 14. When lockdown hit, they all decided to hunker down together for five months as one big happy, not without its challenges, modern family. All right. We're testing my brain power here. I see Denise, Jordan, Laura, Jaron, and Jalen, which means that we're missing Dan, Abby, and Caroline. I'm assuming they're okay, right, Denise? <laughs> they are. We decided to take a break from our blended family after five and a half months, and they are taking time, just um, Dan and the girls, Jordan and Laura have had time with the boys, and I'm going to now take some time with the boys. So it's a nice separation after a lot of time together. Okay, I'm calling this the pandemic Brady Bunch, by the way. <laughs> so this is a really crazy story. So how did all this come about? How did this happen? Well, we decided to move in together after a lot of thought because we were living in New York City, which was the epicenter. And with two divorced families, we wanted the kids to be able to safely be with both families and we we did it we, we thought it was only going to be about three weeks and it turned into five and a half months wow this is this is amazing so um jordan and laura let me ask you guys so how has this been for you definitely surreal definitely unexpected um kind of feels like a whirlwind now that we're saying we were together five months um but we really did unite we became a team um, and it was just an unbelievable experience. Wow, Jordan? It was, it, it was fun. I mean, it, it was work, while at the same time we had a good time. We all parent differently. Um, we all work differently. We all do everything differently. But we did things together. We were a team, as Laura said, and we had a really good time doing it. Wow, that's great. Now, Jaron and Jalen, did you think your parents were crazy, or was this a lot of fun for you guys? Um, at first... I'm not going to lie, I think they were, I thought that they were a little crazy because, like, <laughs> I've never heard of something like this. But at the end, I think what they did for our family on on both sides of the family is a, is a great thing because it really brought us all together. So I think it was a great idea. Yeah. And Jalen, how about um, you? I thought it was, like, it was cool and interesting because I've never spent uh, this, this much time in my life with, any of them probably it was crazy but it was really fun because i got to spend time with everyone well i tell you you guys look like a lot of fun jaren and jalen so denise i imagine there had to be some highs and there had to be some lows right there were definitely a lot of highs and, and a lot of lows um it, it's a complicated situation i think we all really did our best some of the highs where we had family dinners every night um like jalen also said we, as divorced parents, the kids typically go back and forth. So the fact that we as parents were able to be with the kids all of the time was, was amazing. The lows were Jordan and I definitely can fight and disagree on things. And a lot of the reasons why we all got divorced, we now saw over again. And our kids were there for it. So they see us fighting. I think the fact that we do fight is a good thing because it, I think we're very comfortable with each other and we can recover mm. pretty quickly and people who are married fight also so i think i hope for our kids it was a good experience it was really nice for me to get to know laura and dan's daughters who are my kids step sisters mm -hmm. and they all love each other so much but we had never spent any time together so for our family moving forward i think we just did the best thing that we could do for our children and they will always be a part of my lives now. Well, guys, listen, we applaud you for definitely putting family first. I think this is a great lesson for all of us to realize that in tough times, you can dig deep, put differences aside, and make it work. So thank you so much for joining us. Stay safe. Talk to you later. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye.